manifesting something that is okay for Christians to do or is it just for new age? Are we really the God of our reality? Is manifesting a sin? Let's talk about it. Before we hop in, I just want to say that this is based off of my opinions, my experiences, my interpretation of the Bible, and my own personal experience with God. And if you don't agree, that's fine. And just please let me know why in the comments. I'm always up for a little healthy debate. So first question, is manifesting something that us Christians can do or is it a sin? Is it something that's only for new age spirituality, people that identify as witches and warlocks and so on? So let's refer to the Bible. I believe that Jesus quite literally teaches us how to manifest. We see it over and over again in the Bible. Both of the examples I'm gonna give you right now are from the book of Mark. In Mark 9:23, Jesus says, anything is possible if a person just believes. Now the second one is a little more intricate and I think this explains manifestation just a little deeper. And again, it's something that Jesus says. And this is in Mark 23 and it says, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, whoever says this to the mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes what he says is going to take place, it will be done for him. Like, come on. Jesus is literally saying that if you believe with your full freaking heart that you can pick up this mountain and throw it into the sea and you have zero doubts, it can be done. If you believe in that full, unlimited potential of God, okay, so it's right there. It's right there in the Bible. Now, I don't think that I've read the word manifestation in the actual Bible, but that's what it is. Now, I think the thing is, is that we view Jesus, right, as someone who is way different than us. And look, he's God, okay. <laughs> I get it, we're not. But I think that we view him as almost this like super human, right? When in reality, in my opinion, again, Jesus is God in human form. You know, he is the son of God, the son of God. And what are we called? The sons and daughters of God. He is God showing us how to be human. And that's why we are followers of Christ, because we are supposed to follow in his footsteps and follow the things that he does. Not only with him helping others and, and the way that he leads his life in full devotion to the Father, but in how he can heal and perform miracles and manifest because he believes in the Father with all of his heart and he doesn't have any wavering doubt. So because we view him in this way, we think we can't manifest bread and fish for 5,000 people. We think that we can't heal others or ourselves through the power of the Holy Spirit. Because obviously <laughs> we're not Jesus, but Jesus was showing us how to do those things. He even said himself that he heals through the power of the Holy Spirit, okay? And we have access to the same Holy Spirit. And so we can do these things if we truly believe and if we are fully devoted in that unwavering faith of of God and who he created us to be, you know? So, so why would it be any different for us? Well, I'll tell you why. Because through the society and honestly, in my opinion, more so churches because that's that's where we go, right? That's a lot of our, our sanctuaries. You know, we go to church to learn and to, to be in the presence of God when in reality, they don't want us to know of our power. They don't talk about these things, at least, in most of the churches I've been to, they don't. They don't want us to know how incredibly powerful God created us to be. So they don't talk about it. They don't talk about manifestation. They don't talk about miracles. They don't talk about these things. So we think that it's something of the past. It's something that we're not capable of. And so we don't try. And therefore, we don't believe it's possible. And like, isn't that what Jesus says? <laughs> that we can do anything, anything, if we believe with our whole heart. I mean, think about, you know, the instance when the, the disciples were on the little boat or the ship or whatever, and it's sinking and they're freaking out and they're like calling for Jesus and they're, and they're worried and they're, they think they're gonna drown. And Jesus just comes along, 
walking on water and he's like, what the hell? You have no faith. Why are you even scared? Have you not seen enough? And he's frustrated because he's like, why don't you believe? Okay, and it's the same for us. So let me ask you, like, why don't you believe that you were this infinite, incredible creature? So have I convinced you that Christians can manifest? Let me know in the comments below. Next, I wanna talk about being the God of our reality because that's something that we hear a lot in the spiritual community here on YouTube, especially in the Law of Assumption community. Now, I will say up front that this phrase, it does make me pretty uncomfortable. It's not something that I use and I don't necessarily subscribe to that. Straight up, <laughs> straight up, I feel like calling myself or anyone else or anything else a God is not only disrespectful, but I do think that that's a sin because you know, it can be seen as worshiping someone other than God. It could be seen as worshiping ourselves, you know? However, I do understand why people say that and why they believe in that, um, you know, term of how they can basically create their lives. So let me break that down. We're created in the image of God, right? So I want you to think of it in human terms. You have a sperm, you have an egg, they merge and they create another human. And that baby is made of those two people, the people that produce the egg and the sperm. Nothing more than those two people and nothing less of those two people. All people, all things are the same of God because all that ever was, is, and will be is created from God, of God. Nothing more, nothing less. So in essence, our individual realities are created from our experiences. Combined with the immense, powerful beings that we are, that God created us to be, because we are solely created from God, we are the creators of our universe, of our reality. So because we create our reality and God created everyone's reality, people equate that to being the God of their own reality. Does that make sense? So I understand why people use that term. I just prefer to use another term. I don't really think that as a Christian, using the word God outside of our ultimate creator is appropriate but there are plenty of other words that we can use that don't potentially cross that line. You can use the word creator or co-creator of your reality. Otherwise, I think we can kind of teeter over that line of worshiping ourselves and giving the glory to ourselves instead of God, instead of our ultimate creator. So I'm interested to know what you guys think about both of these things because they're both something that pretty interesting to me to kind of dive into. You know, I'm someone that really enjoys my beliefs being challenged and I really enjoy opening my mind and expanding my mind in new ways. So I welcome opposing points if you're not gonna be an asshole about it. And if you wanna learn more about God or how to hear from God, I will link a video at the end. I hope you guys really found value in this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it's free and it really helps me out. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly. <laughs> limitlessly yourself. Mm -hmm.